in. So a couple of the crew members coming into view. Um, in the blue shirt, that's Alexander Mazurkin. He'll, he's the uh, he's going to be the Expedition 54 commander uh, who just took over command from Randy Bresnik, who's there on the left now in the long sleeve blue shirt. Sergey Rosansky in the back there in the gray. Paolo Nespoli now coming into view, saying farewell to Mazurkin. He's going to be moving in as well. And Sergey Rosansky in the gray there. He's going to be the Soyuz commander for the flight down. He'll be in the center seat. Saying farewell to the other two NASA astronauts on board, Joe Acaba and Mark Vandehei. They're going to remain on board with Alexander Mazurkin. And they'll be uh, just half of the Expedition 54 crew, which will grow with another three crew members uh, just over this weekend. But for now, looks like Bresnik, Nespoli, and Rosansky inside the Soyuz spacecraft getting a few last-minute shots while they're still in the microgravity environment. And pretty soon they'll be closing the hatchway and beginning the trip home. And just like that, the hatch on the Soyuz spacecraft getting closed there. Russian cosmonaut Alexander Mazurkin now will close up the hatch on the Rosfiat side. And first, just giving the hatchway uh, a quick clean, make sure it's free of any um, debris or other objects that could prevent a uh, thorough seal. As once this is closed, uh, it'll kick off a series of leak checks just to uh, ensure a tight seal and that once they undock, uh, the station side will stay nice and pressurized. Paris, Moscow. And with that, the hatches closed and locked. 8.02 p.m. Central Time, 9.02 p.m. Eastern Time. Buddy. While the station flies 253 statute miles over the Philippine Sea, just to the south of Japan. Buddy. 